Nowhere in the New Testament does it state that Jesus was born on the 25th of December, but it does mention where Jesus was born in Matthew 2.1 and Luke 2.6. The ruling authorities chose the 25th of December to be the birth of Jesus. This was formed of a Roman holiday. When Christianity became popular within the 3rd century, there was another holiday being celebrated known as Saturnina. Near the end of the year, many European cultures celebrate Saturnina differently, as their cultures influenced them to do all kinds of acts of file discretion. This was referenced to Saturn worship between 200 BCE and 200 CE. The birth of Tammuz was on the 25th of December. This story backdates to ancient Babylon. Nimrod was a sun god who was the father of Tammuz. His mother was known as the Queen of Heaven. She was symbolised as a moon goddess. There are still many pagan practices demonstrated in religion today. The most common theme is seen as a mother and child. This is well demonstrated in the Roman Catholic Church. The concept of Jesus and Mary are very similar to the Queen of Heaven and Tammuz. The old story does go back to Nimrod as a titan who rebelled against the God of the Bible. The question is, who is that God? For Jesus is the son of the Old Testament God. Confusion, but let's not go there. Is it possible that certain people has reversed an infant which was evil into some tale of good? Did they reverse evil and darkness into a figure of light? To break it down, Nimrod worship was as symbolised as a Christmas tree. This started when Nimrod had died. The Queen of Heaven decided that a fully grown evergreen tree that had grown overnight would enable the survival of Nimrod's spirit. So every year on Nimrod's birthday, she generally believed that the spirit of Nimrod would visit his tree. So she placed gifts underneath the tree, waiting for his return. Doesn't this sound similar to what most humans in Western culture practice today? The Yule Logs was burnt in a fireplace the day before Nimrod's birthday, which was Christmas Eve. In truth, the logs represent Nimrod's return. Nimrod can be seen in many other ancient traditions, such as the Iranian god Mithra, who was a virgin birth, just like Mary being a virgin, giving birth to Jesus. This date was also celebrated on the 25th of December. In Northern Europe, the Druids who was in tune with nature seemed like innocent people, but they too also had similar traditions which was identical practices, worshipping Nimrod. The ancient Celts decorated their temples with evergreen as a symbol of everlasting life. Winter Solaris was celebrated for thousands of years. In this period of time, the shortest day of the year, which was the 21st or 22nd of December. Solitus is when a daylight lasts for seven hours. Celebration, what people unconsciously celebrate, is associated to the gods linked with the sun and rebirth, such as Odin, Saturn, Kronos and Pan. In Rome, Salatus festivals, clippings of shrubs, would be brought inside, hung with tin ornaments. Odin was celebrated by decorating trees with candles and fruit. They used to kill and sacrifice their victims to Odin 
burning them under the tree. Jesus was born, then killed and resurrected. In ancient ethnology, the son dying on the cross was then reborn after a three day death. This is demonstrating the Southern Cross crux as the 22nd, 23rd and 24th days of December are building up to a great importance, which is obviously the 25th of December. It is a day of rebirth and alignment of the three kings, which is the cholesterol bodies. Sirius indicates the rebirth of the sun as the day of Solitus is a day of sun worship. Now let's go to Egypt. Looking at the Ankh symbol, this is demonstrating Osiris, which was carried by Ra, which again symbolised the sun being reborn. Looking at the illustrations of Jesus, the disc on his head, the similarities are quite significant. The only difference is cultural representation of the actual tradition. The actual meaning is leading back to Saturnalia. All these idols, such as Nimrod, Baal, Osiris, Odin, Saint Nicholas and Santa Claus are all concepts of Saturnalia. A dark path which has been purposely hidden from the masses, the roots of Saturnalia was a Roman god, aka Cronus, who was known as Father Time. This is how we call the cholesterol planet Saturn. This planet has influenced religions and traditions. They had worshipped and believed in many gods. Their routines evolved a mix of many things such as nature, spiritual and alchemy magic. They also believed the theory of reincarnation after death. They held a tradition called the Mizotol. They would choose certain people to sacrifice, but before killing them, the men was treated as kings. They was given high amounts of food to feast upon. The men could also choose which women they would like to inflict their sexual desire upon and this was done in tribute to the name of Saturn. On this day it was a no holds barred day where the people could break the law, breaking vows of marriage and purging villages. The desire of the heart could be fulfilled at any given time during this festival period. As time passed on, these traditions slowly faded away into Roman Catholicism, a New Age religion which left a blueprint of great understanding of all what had came before, whereas in today's age it has been turned down into a PG celebration known as Christmas. The PG era of Jesus was used by the Roman Catholic Church to convert pagans into becoming a Roman Catholicism. They used tactics such as, if they convert, they could keep their rituals and not be condemned in going to hell. Slowly, they had turned down Saturnalia with new laws and traditions. Jesus was the new concept of being on Christmas Day. It was a more ideal for children and family togetherness.